Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be exploring donut charts. So just imagine a pie chart, except you've cut out a big chunk in the middle to make a donut. You might have seen this trend on Dribbble and Pinterest, and it is definitely a neat way to add data visualization to your projects. Adopted by the likes of Apple, even the native fitness app on the Apple Watch has this similar concept. So let's look at how to recreate these. So in Figma, we're going to start by creating an ellipse. So in our toolbar within our shape tools, we have ellipse with shortcut O. And there are three ways we can make an ellipse. So we can just click and drag to make an ellipse. Or if we want to make a perfect circle, we can just hold shift. And the final way is by holding option, we can actually draw the ellipse from the center point. So I haven't got it clicked yet, and now I'm going to hold it down. And you can also hold Option and Shift at the same time to constrain it to, to the center point, but also create a perfect circle. So to unlock these hidden features to make a donut chart, we need to first click and drag this arc button, which is this white dot on, on my ellipse. You can see all my ellipses has this white dot. So by clicking and dragging, you unlock four properties. We have the corner radius. So I'm going to type 20. So essentially it acts like we expect it. So every point just changes to have a radius of 20. I'm going to make it zero again. We have our starting point, which controls the start of this new shape. So I can go 20, go 50, go 90. Then we have our sweep, which controls how much of the shape you want to retain. So if I go 20%, then if I go 50%, I can even go 100%. So let's bring it back to 50. And the last tool is ratio which is how much of the shape do you actually want to cut out from the center? So if I go 10%, this is how we make our donut. 50%, I'm going to draw one more, 80%. So another neat tool is by activating this arc feature, by bringing it back to a full circle like we did before, we actually retain two out of the four properties. Yes, we have our start property still visible, but it is disabled, which makes sense because if you have a full ellipse, no matter where you start it, it will still look the same. So I think it makes sense that they disable it. Disable it. But the good thing is you can continue to make your donuts. Oh, not 100%, that will just delete the whole thing. Let's go 80%. Now let's look at these properties in more detail. So looking at these three properties, start, sweep, and ratio, understanding how they work will help us to create our donut charts. So the start is essentially saying, where is the start of this shape going to be? So we know that east is zero degrees. If we go clockwise, we go positive up to 180 degrees. And if we go anti-clockwise, we go minus to negative 180 degrees. So we have, this is the starting point right now. As you can see, the start point is at zero degrees. If we want it to go south, we can go positive 90 degrees. And now the starting point is south and north would be minus 90 degrees. So negative 90 degrees. Sweep runs from minus 100% to 100%. And what this means is we want to ch change how much of the circle remains. So for example, we have the sweep at 50%. So essentially from the east, so from the east in a positive direction, we want to keep 50%. So how do we get the other side? Same logic. So from the starting position, starting position, which is zero, we want to keep minus 50%. So if we go to minus 50 here, we just keep the other side. Don't feel like you have to 
memorize how this all works, we have these handles here. So we have the start, the ratio, and the sweep control handles for you to play with. So if you honestly can't remember these percentages, just click on sweep, for example, and you can just do loops until you get what you want. The last one is ratio, which runs from 0% to 100%. So in a ratio, it is the percentage of the ellipse that is cut out. So at 0%, nothing is cut out, and 100%, everything is cut out. So it's always cut out from the center. So I've split this ellipse into four quadrants. So this one will leave at 0% as our reference. So if we make this 25%, it means a quarter of this radius is cut out. So we can make it 50%. So now half of it is cut out and we can also make 75%. And same with sweep. If you can't remember how it works, you can just click on the ratio control handle and just move it to help you remember what it does. And that goes for all the tools, so sweep, and start. Now that we've talked about the arc tools, let's go and create our three donut charts. So we're going to start with an ellipse. I'm just going to make it 300 by 300. Yep. And we're going to activate our arc tools by opening and closing it. For this one, we're going to cut out 80%. You don't have to write the percent, I'm, I'm just writing it to show you. In the ratio side so we're cutting out 80 percent and we're gonna make it white so i'm just gonna use the eyedropper tool which is also when you open fill with the eyedropper tool here the shortcut for that is i and i'm gonna copy and paste with command c command v and eyedropper tool this orange color so now we want to make this to show 75 percent so in our sweep we can just change this to be 75 and then enter. And we're just going to round these corners with the corner radius. And I'm just going to input 50. So we're going to put our data indicator. We're going to just write 75%. I'm just using aileron heavy italic at 96. And then for the percentage symbol, I'm just going to make it half size. So let's just go 48. And put it in the center. Awesome, that is our first donut chart. The second one we're gonna create, I'm just gonna duplicate this white um, background ring. So I'm just gonna hold option, click drag, and holding also down shift to constrain the copy. So we're gonna make this into thirds. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep the 80%, but instead of 100%, we're gonna make it a third. So we need to just go 100% divided by 3. And then we can also round this corner. So here's our first one. And we can make this this orange color. Now we want to fill out the other two sides. So I can just go copy and paste, Command C, Command V. And what I need to do is just move the starting point to be over here. So how do we work that out? So because we have three sections, the next one will be at 360 degrees for a circle divided by three. So we have our next one. I'm going to make this yellow with the eyedropper tool. And then one more time. So now I know the first one's at 120. So the next one is 120 plus 120 is 240. And then eyedropper tool, this purple color. And there we have our second one. So I'm going to change this to be one third. Maybe, maybe we'll just make it the big size again. So 96, there we have it. We're going to do one more. So holding option and shift again, we're going to make our third donut chart. This time we only want it to be a semicircle. So what we can do is in the sweep, we we'll just change that from 100% to 50%. And instead of starting from over here, we want to start it from over here. So I can just use these toggle handles if I don't 
really know what to put in there, I can just click and drag, start it over here. I'm going to round these corners, so go 50 again. I'm just going to copy this across first, and we want this to be 60%. I'm going to make this half size again, 48. So what are we going to do? We're going to copy and paste this, Command-C, Command-V, I drop a tool, red, and we want this to be 60%. So how do we work that out? So currently it's at 50% sweep, but we want 60% of that. So that is quite easy. It's just 50 times 0.6 for 60%. And there we have it. Let's add a bit more details for this. So maybe instead of white, we're going to use this gray background. So I'm going to use eyedropper tool, gray background, but we'll add a stroke. We'll make this white. I'm just going to zoom in by holding command and scrolling with my mouse scroller. So maybe we'll make this four. Uh, that's a bit too big, maybe three. We're going to make it look like this white bit is indented inside and this is sitting on top. So we can do that by making a inner shadow. And instead of growing from one direction, we just want to grow it from inside. So we can just go Y zero and spread two. Or maybe a bit more, four. We can make it a bit darker as well. And now for this one, we want to make it seem like it's on top. So instead of having an inner shadow, we can do an outer shadow. So in effects, we can just add, we have the drop shadow on. And instead of a direction, we want it to just grow inward. So no direction. So we go zero here. And to make it grow inward, so all shapes, the spread would grow out. So we have to write negative four. And we can make this darkness 50%. Awesome. Last, we need to make an indicator. So we're just going to use the ellipse tool. I'm just going to eyeball it. So maybe, maybe it's a 30 and we're going to make the fill white. So I'm just going to eye drop tool and just find this white here and the stroke, we can make it maybe three again. So you can see, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it looks pretty close. Like you can see there's a bit of weird gaps here, but that's okay when you zoom out. You can't really notice it. Hopefully you've learned something about creating donut charts by following the three examples that I've made. I will also be making a video on recreating the Apple Watch's native fitness app and how we can use these tools to copy that display. But that's all for now. Hope you all stay hydrated, take a break, rest your eyes, and I'll see you all next time.